So I will now create a new class, which will be my burn down chart. This class will inherit from the quick chart model in the view schema. And this chart will have two fields on top of the already existing fields. One of them is going to be the linked selection manager. Or actually, I could just copy paste the field that I have on my editor and save some time. And I can have another field which will be the burn down data. So just print burn down. The sprint burn down will be of type sprint burn down. It is not a reference. Now I need to create two rules. The first one will set the edited collection. So which sprint am I looking at? So I will create a rule which is the set display sprint. So this rule will have a single output which will be on the sprint burn down set the linked sprint. The input for that rule will be the selected list from the selection manager and a type. So let's create my first input. The selected object list. So from the selection manager, I will then fetch the selection list and take the selection. I also want to filter that selection to only select the objects of type sprint since I don't want to display the burn down of anything else. So what I will do is create a static reference for the sprint type and associate the sprint type. as the static collection. Now I can begin coding my rule. So what I want to do is return, and what I want to do is to find a parent of type. So from the filter list method, I will filter the selection list. to return a single item. I want to find a parent of type sprint type. And I don't need an exact match so the last parameter can be false. And I enable my rule. I then need to create another rule to copy all the data that I've broken down into my chart. So fill the chart data. So my output for that will be the chart data. So the collection list in the chart is my output. I need to create one input, which is the same list, so that I can fill it. also need to get the list of values that I want to fill in there. So I need to create another input, which is the list of values. And the list of values will be from the sprint burndown. I want to select all this time sprint breakdown list. And I want to select all the time sprint breakdown. I can then copy one list to another one. So the list to fill, the list of values, and delete any unmatched values.
Now I have my burn down chart ready, so I will go ahead and create it in my view so that I need to replace the current chart with this new instance. Here I will create a burn down chart. I then need to link it to the tree view as the selection manager. I also need to associate the burn down I've created here in my chart as the sprint burn down. I then need to configure which property I want to display on the X and Y axis of my chart. So the X axis will be the time of a sprint burn down. So in a sprint burn down, I have here, I have the breakdown time as the category axis. The values will be the time left, the work effort left for every time sprint breakdown. So I need to paste it as a value property instance. Now my graph is created, but it doesn't make sense right now because it's not ordered. So again, I will need to take the time, that breakdown time, copy it in my graph, and indicate that this will be the order property. And there we go. My graph is now created, and it shows how much time was left at any time in, in the sprint. So if I create or modify a task, I will see automatically the effect on my burndown chart. So for instance, if I create a new work event on June 16th, and I say that at that time I spent five hours and there was 10 hours left, it will automatically update the chart based on my data. And this concludes the tutorial to create a sample agile production using the deduced framework. I hope you enjoyed it.